Okay, it's one thing for people to see your pictures on Instagram or your videos on Snapchat, and it's another thing for people to see you in real life. What's the reaction you get when people see you in real life? Well, in real life, in real life, people, they don't expect me to be as goofy as I am. They think I'll be stuck up or something or, like, mean. But they love me in real life because, like, I'm, like, really bubbly and happy. I'd be happy to see them, too. Like, it'd be, you know, a good little confrontation. <laughs> what about as far as your appearance? Do people think you look taller? Do you look shorter? Um, Taller. In, they in used to think I look taller. But now since I'm... When I was 14, I was like kind of tall for a 14 year old. But now since I'm 17, it's like, some people say I'm prettier, you know, well, yeah. Do they think you look thinner in person, thicker in person um, than your pictures or your videos? Sometimes thinner, it depends. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your opinion of social media today? Social media really takes away from the world, the real world. Like social media has everybody distracted, like it's, a whole nother world, you know, everybody's business, what everybody's doing, just everybody's personal life. Like in social media, it can portray something different than what people really are. It's just, you know, it's mm. not the real world anymore. Has it played a role in your success? Yes, it really has. Social media is has played a big role of where I am today. But before that, I was known because I did a lot of stuff, knew a lot of people, but it did help me. So did it blow up already before you joined the group, We Are Charm, or did it blow up after you joined? It was kind of in the midst of it. Like when, social, when I first started the group, that's when Instagram like first came about. So it was kind of during the same time. Okay. Now, what's your biggest pet peeve with social media at this point? What bothers you the most about it, if anything? The most would have to be people who just get on there to hate. Like, they just get on to bash people, knock people down. And, like, yeah, like, it's some people out there who just don't care. Like, they just get on social media to knock people down. That's how, what I have to hate. How do you deal with hateful or negative comments on social media? At first, it was very hard for me when I first experienced it. My mom helped me get through it and stuff like I really hated it. I just wanted to delete everything, but she helped me to believe in myself and believe that those people don't really matter. Like they're, they're there just to knock you down. They don't wanna see you happy. They don't wanna see you successful. Like you just have to keep going. You can't really mind them because like at the end of the day, what are they doing for you? They're not really doing anything for you so I just you just always got to stay positive like at all times all the negativity is just a mess it's mm. very pointless do you block people do you yes automatically as soon as I see something block delete that's how I get rid of it clap back no it it depends like for the most part I don't because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, but it just really depends. If it's something like very serious, I might say something, but I won't keep going back and forth. Delete comments, turn comments off? Um, I never turned my comments off because majority of it is from fans and love, but I do delete comments. Now, when it comes to blocking people, what can get somebody blocked for you? Everybody has a different policy. Is it just, just a comment? No, it's just negativity. Like anything negative, positive comments, all are accepted. But anything negative, like that's just not necessary, is just going to get blocked and deleted. What about constructive criticism? Um, I take constructive criticism. I like I love constructive criticism because that helps me. But if it's stuff that's like not constructive criticism, no. But constructive criticism, yes. Have you ever took somebody off your block list and put them back in general population? No. Okay, so you have like a zero tolerance policy then. Yes, once you're blocked, that's it for you. Now, what about death threats? Has it ever gotten that bad with the hate or negative comments where you've received a death threat online? Yes, to me and towards like family members, friends, everything. And how young were you when you got a death threat? 
ever since I was popping. I, I get them, I don't get them too often, but I recently did just get one that really made me mad. But death threats, that's very hard because that's on a whole nother level of hate. Like you should never wish that upon somebody or anything. Usually it's an adult that gets death threats. I didn't think yes. a teenager like yourself would get death threats. Yeah, it's just people out there that just, they don't want to see where you are. They just, I don't know. What about stalkers? Has anybody ever crossed that imaginary boundary between online and real life? Um, real life? I would have to say online online and real life would have to be the same because they basically know everything that is. No, but has somebody like maybe like stalked you online and then tried to actually see you in real life, tried to stalk you in real life? No, but somebody who did hack my page had all my information, like address, all that. Very scary. Yes. Let's talk about hacking. Was this, because I did an interview with another one of the members of We Are Charm, Trinity yes. Sailor, and mm -hmm. she talked about being a target of a uh, hacking. Yeah. Were you the same part of that same target? Yeah, I got hacked. She so talked many about times. being blackmailed. Yeah. Uh, ab during that, she eventually got her page back mm -hmm. from the hacker. Is yes. that what happened to you, or yes? Like they would do things in order for you to get your page back. Like they would blackmail you. They had all our information, everything. Like it was hard to get our pages back because they just kept hacking it. They blackmailed us into getting our page too. Like it was a mess. Mm. I see. But how long did you? Uh, did it take for you to get your page back? Back and forth about like two to three months. Wow, that's a long time. Yes. Same and for Trinity? She made it sound like yes. she got it quicker. She would get it back, but they would take it back and wow. keep doing back and forth. How did it end? How did it end where it stopped the back and forth? I think contact actually going through Instagram to get it back. I but see. the pages, they are still like there aren't they aren't all the way active. Like a lot of people are blocked. They the pages are like broken, kind of. They took your pictures down. Yeah, deleted everything. Went through all the DMs, all that. Yes, I noticed it was like uh, uh, the same hacker not only targeting people like yourself, but they were targeting like a lot of the Atlanta dancers. Yes. The teenage dancers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and blackmailing them. I did an interview with. Chai the Greatest, and she yeah. told me about the same thing. Trinity told me it was the same hacker. Yeah, same hacker for everybody. Very crazy. Um, is there anything that can be done to prevent something like that? Uh, hindsight 2020 after you, you know, everything um, calmed down? I try to keep my page very secure, like verification-wise, the two-factor authentication. Yeah, there is a double yes. verification thing, which seems to help a lot yes, of people. Yes, I hope that that works, but there is a way that they could get through that too. I guess they just haven't tried, I don't know. But I hope my page is secure, but there isn't really a way because they know all the ways to hack you. Now, what about disabling? I know when it comes to hateful comments and negativity, people can can try to get you disabled and that sort of thing. Has that happened to you also? No. Okay. I so. never got disabled before. Like, you know, where people will maybe report images. I've heard mm -hmm. I've heard some people get reported other images and it's not like a, you know, a sexual image or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people will post provocative pictures and that sort of thing, which can get people to report. But I've heard people have so much hate and negativity that people will try to report a decent picture that has nothing yeah. to do with provocativeness. Yeah, that's never happened to me for some reason. Now, I also seen that people with high numbers of followers like yourself, you're almost mm -hmm. at half a million on Instagram, they'll have a backup page to prevent, well, in the, in the act of a hacking or something like that or a disabling, at least they have a backup page that can keep mm -hmm. stuff going and stuff alive. Did you implement that as well or no? I had a backup page, but it was kind of for no reason because I kept getting hacked and getting my page back. So I would keep telling them, oh, I got my page back, go follow that. Oh, I'm back on my backup page, go follow that. So it was like, they didn't know who to follow. So the backup page was kind of pointless, mm. but I do have a backup business page just in case. 
I see. Now, what about, ha I mean, you're 17 years old and you have ha almost, what, half a million people following you on just Instagram alone, on mm -hmm. social media. What is that like for you? Is that surprising to you? Um, it was at first, at first as I was building up, but now I'm not surprised because I see the person that I am becoming and I see my potential, like what I can be. Like I'm trying to aim for even higher. So I'm very proud of myself at where I am, but I saw it coming when it was in the progress. Is it a sense of power? Um, no, I would just have to say a sense of being who you are. Like, that's, people just love the way I am. Mm. You just have to be real, be positive, you know, just be a role model and a leader to some people. People want to look up to you. I've seen some celebrities recently deactivate their own accounts and reactivate them or terminate their social media profiles. I've seen Justin Bieber do it, Meek Mill. Kanye West was one of the most recent people to terminate his stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever got to the point with social media where you just couldn't take it anymore and and you wanted to terminate a social media profile or may, maybe just taking a break from it altogether? Yes, but it doesn't, it, it helps if you wanna get like just some time to yourself but you also can just leave social media alone completely if you can't handle it. I've heard people take breaks. Some people have fasted from social media. They've taken a detox. Um, what about Snapchat? Are you on Snapchat? Yes, I am on Snapchat. Are you still pretty active? I've seen a lot of people yes. with the rise of Instagram stories, which is very similar to Snapchat, kind of cheat on Snapchat and mm -hmm. just do Instagram stories now. Yeah, I'm very active on Snapchat. I actually love Snapchat. You snap more than you post on Instagram stories or same yes, thing? Yes, I'm on Snapchat more. Snapchat and Twitter more than Instagram. Oh. Yes. What is your screen name on Snapchat? Is it the same as your Instagram? No, it's actually Hollywood underscore Nye, which is N-A-I. Okay. Now, when it comes to Snapchat, how often do you post? You say you're active. How often? Every day. And are you checking your messages on Snapchat? I don't check you my don't? messages okay. on Snapchat. I leave that to personal, like family and friends. I see. Now, do you, you, you do use Instagram stories. Yes, Okay. sometimes. Are you like downloading your Snapchat and just re-uploading it on Instagram? For the most part. Okay. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do that too. <laughs> what about Instagram Live, which is something on Instagram that's a feature very similar to what Periscope and Facebook Live does. Do you use that? Yes, I do, but not that often. I've seen a lot of people use it at first when it first came out. Yeah. And now people, not so much. Because it's like once you get on it, you have to be doing something that people are interested in instead of just sitting there in your bed and answering questions and stuff. You have to be interesting, I guess. What's the most unique location you've been on Instagram Live from? Um, that's pretty much why I don't get on because I <laughs> usually get on it at home. But I mean, I got on it when I was in California. That was pretty interesting. I see. This is the whole group was out there, huh? Yes. Yeah. For a BET weekend. Now, you mentioned Twitter, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think Twitter can still survive all these social media changes that Instagram has been doing? And Yeah, Twitter still survives because Twitter is very funny. Like, you get on there for entertainment. Is it's Twitter very, survi <laughs> it's very different from Instagram. Is Twitter still surviving because of Donald Trump? No. <laughs> because that's what, he tweets a lot, and a lot of people watch his <laughs> tweets and read his tweets. No, not necessarily for Donald Trump. It's basically like just a whole bunch of shenanigans. When people tweet something, other people would bash them about it or something. Like, quote, retweet it and say something funny. And is your Twitter screen name different from your Instagram or Snapchat? Yes, it's S-H-V-N-I-A. Now, you mentioned your mom on this interview. Are your parents on social media? Um, yes, they are. My dad has a business page oh, okay. for his business, and my mom also has a personal page and other personal accounts. Are they blocked? No. <laughs> so they're They blocked. see everything. So or do they interact with you, though? Do they comment, like, on your stuff from their socials or no? No. 
Okay. <laughs> but do they critique your post? Do they say, oh, this might be My a little too much? My dad does when I post certain things. He's alert on everything. You've had to remove some posts? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so nothing that bad. 